In this LED effect Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to transform a text, shape, or logo into an LED display. Create an animated LED board display with a retro look in just a few easy steps. The action converts any regular font into an LED font. In the description of this video, you will find the link where you can download the LED Photoshop action, which you will need to install into Photoshop in order to use the action properly. So, let's start. Now that we have the essential files installed, let's go ahead and actually create the LED effect. To start with, you can either create an entirely new PSD file where you can add your text, logo, shapes, or a combination of any of these elements, or you can open the LED board display mockup PSD file that was included in the pack and just edit the text and the design. Note, however, that whichever one you choose, it is still very important to merge all of the layers together except for the background layer. This layer must be deleted. Right before you begin the action to make your LED text display, you should see only one layer on the layer panel, and the background must be the checkered pattern that indicates transparency. For this tutorial, I am going to use the LED screen display mockup. I'm going to edit this text slightly. As you can see, each part is separate from the others, and the text is easy to edit, making this a great template. Once that's done, as I mentioned earlier, it's time to merge all of the layers. If your image has a background, delete that first, then we can merge. Simply select all of the layers by clicking the very top or very bottom layer, pressing and holding shift, and then clicking the layer on the opposite end of the list. Then, right-click on one of the non-text layers and click Merge Layers. As you can see, only one layer is left. It's now time for the actual LED making action. On your Actions window, open the folder called LED Effect 2023 by PSD Dude Update. Next, play one of the first two actions either LED medium size or LED big size, depending on what size your image is. For this image, I will play the LED medium size action. Photoshop will then play a series of functions and actions that will then stop and automatically make your image look like this. By default, the LED effect color is green, but in the same folder, we have five different actions to change the color of your image, or parts of your image. Let's add some multicolor pizzazz to this image, shall we? First, I want the bolts and sparkles to be yellow. To do that, first, play the action called Paint with Yellow. Immediately, a box will appear. It says, 1. Pick the Magic Wand tool. 2. Select the area or areas that you want to color. 3. Resume play. Click the stop button first. Then, on the left here, where the tools are, let's look for the magic wand tool. Often it may be hidden under a different tool, such as the object selection tool or the quick selection tool. If you see any of these two instead of the magic wand tool which looks like this, right click the tool and select the magic wand tool. Now, let's select the bolts first. Go to your shape layer at the top here, click the first bolt, and then press and hold shift to select additional parts. I want the sparkles to be yellow as well. I was thinking of these faces to be yellow too, but I changed my mind. To deselect them, press and hold the alt button while you click the area you want to deselect. Now that I have my desired area selected, I'm going to go ahead and click play on the action window to resume the action. And just like that, the colors changed. I want some more color in this image, so I'm going to do the same thing with other colors and other parts. I also want a colorful LED text effect. 
That looks much better, and we're not even done yet. As you can see in the layer panel, there's a layer called Increase Saturation. Click the left part of this layer once. You'll see a panel pop up called Properties. With this, you can change the overall hue. And obviously, also the saturation. This is optional, of course, but I love this combination of colors, and I want it to be just a little bit brighter. That looks so good. One important thing to mention. Please don't change the name of the layers, the order of the layers, don't delete any layers, and don't add new ones. This is important if you want to play the animation actions. Well, you didn't think that was all this action could do, did you? We can actually create LED effect Photoshop animations too. There are three types available. First is the color animation. Second is the blink animation. And third type is the scrolling text animation. I'm only going to demonstrate a few in this video, but play around with the actions and see the results. Let's first do the color animation. When you play the action, you will once again be greeted with a short message. This time, it says Window, Timeline, and Convert to Frame Animation. Click Stop, and then let's do exactly that. Window, then Timeline. On the timeline, there should be a big button that says Create Frame Animation. If not, it might say Create Video Timeline. If it says the latter, click the arrow on its right and click Create Frame Animation. Once that's been changed, click the button itself. Then just resume the action. Before the action ends, we have a message that says 1. To see the animation, click on the Play Animation button. 2. To download the animation, go to File, Export, Save for Web, and choose GIF instead of JPG. Click Stop. Let's preview the animation by doing what the message says. Click the Play button, this time on the timeline, not the action window, by going down here to the bottom left and clicking the right facing triangle. Very nice! To save it, like the message said, go to File, then Export, then Save for Web Legacy. A window should appear. Change JPEG to GIF. You can change the quality by checking the presets on the list above, but for now we should be fine without doing so. Click Save and put it in a folder you'll remember. The other animation we'll be doing today is the scrolling text animation left action. Similar to before, the message will start by saying that you must create a frame animation. Click Stop, do as the message says, similar to before, and resume the action. That's it. Now you have a scrolling animation for your Photoshop LED effect art. Don't forget to preview your animation with the timeline's play button and save it with the same process as before. So, this is how you can create an LED text or logo with our LED effect Photoshop action. If you like our graphic design tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching!